Hey guys, Chad Trofkerbin here from the Incredible Tutorials YouTube channel. Jim Mills and I have teamed up with Smith Micro to bring you these brand new Anime Studio 10 tutorials. So I hope you're ready, because we're about to get started. Real-time media connection in Anime Studio is a fancy way to say that when you make a change to an external file, whether it's an image, video, audio file, or Photoshop document, those changes will then be reflected in Anime Studio, assuming that you save the changes to the external file wherever you are making those changes. So as an example, let's go and import a Photoshop document. I'll go to File, Import, Image. I'll locate a Photoshop file right here, and then I can click Open. I will choose to import this individually, and then click OK. So as you can see, I have my Photoshop document open. I have several layers that make up the Photoshop document. That's what individually did for me. So I am good to go there. So now let's say though I'm looking at this, I'm like, well, I need to make some changes in Photoshop. So I come over here to the Photoshop document inside Photoshop. And I'm looking at this and I'm like, well, you know what? I kind of want the head to be smaller. Now that's something you could do in Anime Studio, but let's say you're just making corrections in Photoshop and you decide to do it right there. Well, I can click on that head layer and then just transform it here and I'll shrink the head. It's kind of like this and move it over like that and hit enter. So now I'm satisfied with this and I could go up to file and save or command S if you're on a Mac, control S if you're on PC then come back here to Anime Studio and you can see that the change has been made to the document in here as well. So as long as I save it, Anime Studio will detect it and then the change will be made. Now the same goes if, for example, you were to misplace this document. Let's say you were working and you move some files around and the next time you open Anime Studio, the document can't be found. Well, what you can do is double click on that file that you imported and go to image and you can set the source image right down here or you can reveal the source image. So let's say it does get misplaced. You can go to set source image, you can locate the image and then you could click open to reset the origin so that Anime Studio will then continue to bring that asset into the document. The same goes for reveal source image. Let's say you have a bunch of stuff that you imported, but you can't seem to find the original file on your computer. Well, reveal source image will open up your file browser and you can see it locates the Photoshop document right there. So real-time media connection can really help you, especially if you are doing a lot of editing with your external files. If you would like more information on Anime Studio, you can visit the official Anime Studio website at anime.smithmicro.com. Thanks for watching, guys, and we will see you next time.